welcome to another captivating episode of Ignition TV. I'm Rainy Holloway. And I'm Mason Schwartz, and today we'll be exploring the infamous world of Hollywood with Dominique with her evolution of films. And then we'll be taking it to Matthew, who's going to guide us through our film program, Ignition TV. And finally, we'll take it back to Kathleen to see how you guys view images. So let's get this show on a roll. Here's everything black and white. I mean, over there it is, but it's pretty vibrant here. In fact, that actually reminds me, it took about 30 years to fully transition from black and white to colored films. Why did we ever switch? It's awesome over here. I think I'm gonna have to check that out for myself. By all means. Wow, you're right, it is pretty cool. You know, we should take it to Dominique now and see what other evolutions we've made in cinema history. Cinema technology is evolving every single day. The magic of cinema has allowed us to create complex and amazing films. But have you ever wondered how we got to this point? Good morning, Kathleen. I'm Dominique Amansan, and today we're going back in time to experience the journey of cinema technology over the years. So lights, camera, action. Before our fancy and extremely expensive cameras, there was still images. Yep, just a series of still images played at a fast rate to create the illusion of movement, and this was called the Phi Phenomenon, created by Max Wilthemheimer. In the year 1895, the Lumiere brothers showcased one of the very first films by hanging a cloth and projecting their series of images onto a screen. As digital technology improves, film stock is no longer the popular choice when filming a movie, since we have transitioned to digital. The 21st century has made major developments in cinema technology. Some of them are the amazing CGI, which stands for Computer Generated Imagery, a wider range of color, increasing resolution, and much more. It is clear to say that color has dramatically changed. Back in the early days of filmmaking, every single frame was hand-painted. Luckily now, new technology has introduced us to HDR, which stands for High Dynamic Range, which allows us to see much more detail and a color variety. The future of film looks bright, with cinema engineers working endlessly to provide the best experience for you when watching a film. Today we experience the journey of cinema technology over the years, and how it has dramatically changed for the better. There is still much more to anticipate for the future of film. What does the future of film look like to you? I'm Dominique Amatsan, reporting for Ignition TV. Cut! Oh my gosh, Mason. I am so far behind in all of my classes except for TV. Yeah, I don't think people know how much effort it takes to make a new show. I know. So why don't we take it to Matthew to find out just a little bit more about behind the scenes of Ignition TV. You don't have to have a career in the filming industry to make something amazing. You can take clips and videos off your phone and turn them into movie magic before you even finish high school. I'm Matthew Yule and today we're taking a tour backstage of our very own Ignition TV program to show you what happens behind the camera lens. So let's get rolling. Ignition TV is the name of our daily news show, viewed on campus and posted online for our community to see. It takes a lot to put the show together from creating graphics, editing, finding music and much more. But the two main parts of the show are the anchors and the reporters that bring you the information of what's happening every day. The anchors are the ones that guide us through our show. They introduce the reports, communicate the announcements, and they connect with our audience. When I'm anchoring, the only way I think I can connect with the audience is giving a brief description of my life or full of emotion. I usually like to try and keep a bright, shining face and a big smile to make people think I'm approachable. Here in Ignition TV, we cover many different events that happen daily at Kathleen High School. We create reports on pep rallies, sports games, and even get the scoop on some of our students and their special talents. What makes creating a report difficult is coming up with new ideas that you haven't done already or try to make it similar. Ignition TV doesn't just create daily news shows, but we also enter the Polk County Video Awards, an annual competition that tests all the TV classes in the county to see which one has the best entries. Categories include music video, short film, documentary, commercial, and many more. Ignition TV has always strived to make a big splash at the awards, but it's not easy. Competition season is the most stressful just because the people on top are doing other things and you have to pick up the slack. Because there's a lot of pressure in making sure everything is perfect. Ignition TV has been on air since 2010 and shows no sign of shutting down. If you'd like a spot on the show, then please talk to your advisor, Mr. Gash, 
And perhaps you could be standing right where I am one day. I'm Matthew Yule, reporting for Ignition TV. Everyone loves movies, and everyone loves snacks, and they kind of go hand in hand. So the Kona Ice Truck will be here every other Thursday after 2 o'clock. Every good movie needs a great ending, and the perfect ending for high school is graduation. The last day to order cap and gowns is December 14th, so make sure you're in your wardrobe. Where are we? Oh, I see. We're in a meta movie. A meta what now? You don't see the people? Oh, I do. <laughs> hey guys. They look so captivated by us. Yeah, or maybe they just like watching videos. I mean, you do realize how popular film is today, right? You're so right. There's so many different ways to view it. So let's take it to Paige to find out more about how the students at Kathleen watch videos. How do you watch movies? Movies have been entertaining the human race for a century through theater, Netflix, and Blockbuster. I'm Paige, and this is Word on the Street. I like going to the movie theater because it's bigger, it's like a bigger screen, and I could just enjoy it better that way. I usually use Netflix when I go to watch movies. I enjoy movies by going going out to the theater with my friends. I watch movies on Netflix whenever they come out. I enjoy movies by watching them with my family instead of going out to movie theaters because they might they might not want to go to the movie theaters and we can watch them all together. I usually watch movies uh, by going to the movie theater if there's a mov new movie I want to see. I enjoy movies by going to the movie theater because I feel like it gives you the best experience. I watch movies at home because I feel more comfortable. There are many different ways to watch movies and they have definitely changed since they were first released. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive Word on the Street. I'm Paige, reporting for Ignition TV. We had a fabulous show for you today, starting off with Dominique and the evolution of film. Taking it to Matthew, who showed us behind the scenes of Ignition TV. And then we went back to Kathleen and talked to some of our students about how they view videos. I'm Rainy Holloway. And I'm Mason Schwartz. Signing off for Ignition, Ignition TV. TV.